Yes, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live. Look, I know I need to go to the damn barbershop. I'm going tomorrow. Don't worry about all that. Worry about this news, man. The Minnesota Timberwolves have traded Ricky Rubio to the Utah Jazz for a 2018 draft pick. I mean, first round pick. I mean, that's pretty much it. Listen, man, Rubio, I don't even know how many games he played this year, man, but uh, these, he's a guy that has had a reputation or is quickly building a reputation for not being able to stay on the floor uh, the entire season. He he This year he stayed on the floor like he played 75 games. But um, I want to say in seasons past, this might be the closest thing that he's had to a full, you know, to a full season, man. Um, I mean, how many how many games is he averaging a season, man? Anyway, I, is it what do I think about it? It's a wash. I mean, he's young. I don't feel like he was the point guard that was gonna get them over the top. And I mean, you're just looking at this. I mean, first year he didn't play many games. Second year he didn't play a whole. So he's played one entire season his whole career. Um, the last two, I'm, I'm, I'll give the last two game, the last two seasons a full. Those are full seasons to me. I mean, five or six games, you just resting or whatever. But this is a guy that just has not been able to stay on the floor for the Timberwolves. And um, though he's not a bad point guard, I just don't think that he fits with what they're doing right now. Um, now this goes directly into where we are here with. It was a double edged sword with Minnesota. They had too many point guards. We knew some point guards were gonna move. I knew Ricky Rub I knew the Ricky Rubio experiment was over with. So I, we we said that in the video the other day. But at the same time, I didn't expect this. Uh, SDC said they were probably gonna pick up Lowry, and I was like, yeah, that that makes sense because you got a cold blooded killer that can get buckets, but at the same time, he can um he can he can delegate and and uh, he doesn't have to get the buckets, right? But this. Is a nice pickup for Minnesota. I'm going to tell you why I watched Jeff Teague for so many years in Atlanta. And my only knock on Jeff Teague is Jeff Teague is nice, but he's not nice every night. Like, Jeff Teague will give you 30 one night. He'll give you 22 the next, and he'll give you five. He'll give you 22 over the course of five games. So that's the only thing. But uh, in Atlanta, we needed him to come out and get busy every single night. With this roster? He don't have to. He doesn't have to get busy every night. The only thing he has to do is come out there, run the floor, play his game, and let the game come to him. He don't have to get buckets. He got he him got people to get buckets on this team. All he has to do is do what he really wanted to do and just be a pure point guard. I can turn it up when I need to, but I don't have to turn it up all the time. And he can do that. I can assure you. That he can do that over the next three years he's got a three-year 55 million dollar contract man so that's good for him um i mean look at this man look at the weapons he's going to have he's gonna have butler you got cat and then you got a scoring medicine in in uh wiggins man i mean that's all he has to do is make his teammates better and he can definitely do that but being able to just make your teammates better but without being expected to be the guy Man, that's gonna be that's gonna be nice for him, man. I mean, I think that this definitely makes Minnesota a uh, playoff team instantly. And uh, you know what what Lonzo what Lonzo was saying, man. Uh, not Lonzo, uh, Lavar was saying. Hey, we we said earlier that Minnesota, if they got a good point guard or whatever, they would be they would have something to say about the Lakers making the playoffs. Now, what we're seeing is Minnesota's definitely going to make the playoffs this year. I feel like the the uh, Clippers will fall out um, of the playoffs or, or what have you since they lost Chris Paul, uh, unless they get a get a better point guard or whatever. I mean, Pat Beverly, he may have that team going. He, he's going to just be a distributor or whatever. He's not going to be that guy. But that's, that's a whole other video for when we talk about Blake Griffin re-signing, man. Anyway, I think that this makes this roster that much better. I know what Jeff Teague is capable of. I watched him in Atlanta all those years. This is a great sign for Minnesota. Does it get him over the hump? No. Is it gonna make them a dynasty like Cat said? Hey, they're well on their way, man. But um, I, I know they'll definitely win this year. They'll definitely get to the playoffs, and I think that they can win. They could definitely improve uh, to get to the playoffs. I think that I think that all they needed was about ten games to get to the playoffs. Let's see what they are Western Conference standings. Let's just see. Let's just check it out real quick. Okay, how many games they win? 31, 31. So yeah. Ten games will get them, 
will get them into the eighth spot. I really feel like that's doable, especially with the stuff that's going on right here, man. I feel like the Clippers are going to fall out. Nobody else probably will fall out. Maybe the, um, I think the Clippers will fall out, and then Minnesota will be that team that goes into the playoffs. But that's just what I think, man. What do you guys think? If you're a Minnesota fan, do you think that the T sign was a good one? I think it was a great one. Uh, for them, he's a good point guard, good solid point guard that can get buckets if need be. But man, he he he's in a hell of a situation for himself right now. He can be the pure point guard that he just wants to be. He's not expected. It's not a lot of pressure on him. All he has to do is do what he has to do, man. Great signing for Minnesota. They definitely will make the playoffs this year. And I just can't wait the basketball season. But I'm out of here. I'm about to go watch Ucha. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Y'all let me know what y'all think, though, man. Is it a good signing? Will they make the playoffs? Or is it going to be cold like Minnesota? Cold like Minnesota. <laughs>